Well, hello! You're most welcome back to Gmodism, and we're here with another Gimli battle. So, um, it has come to my attention, or, you know, Borderwise is basically trying to build a new battleship that will be able to beat the Gimli, which is absolutely fantastic. I want to give him some motivation. So, what I've done here is I prepped a battle with two Titan Slangs versus a Gimli. So, uh, as I also said in my battle, and as he pointed out when he also did a battle, and they got the same results, but go and watch one of them. Um, and uh, Or both, that's better. <laughs> and basically, uh, the Gimli is a quite bit more expensive, it's almost 2.2 million. So, the Gimli is actually 400,000 materials more expensive, uh, almost, like 300,000 materials uh, is that... 380,000? I don't know. Something like that. The Gimle is um, three, 400,000 materials more expensive. And that's, of course, a very big, huge disadvantage. So, to go down and show down the Titan Slang versus the Gimle once and for all, I thought that we should have the Mark 1 plus the Mark 2 versus the Gimle. Now, I think that Borderwise's Titan Slang Mark 1 is actually better in many ways than the Mark II, because its cram cannons are so much more dangerous. So, uh, but instead of just trying one Titan Slang, the Mark I against the Gimli, because I do know that Borderwise thinks the Mark II is much more competent, which it probably is, uh, I just think the Mark I seems more dangerous because of the crams, but in any case, I'm gonna put them both against the Gimli. And if we do that, hopefully we can do a conclusive evidence which um, if the Gimli is stronger or not. Now, I'm really hoping that the Gimli will win. I will be very disappointed if it doesn't, but uh, this video is motivation in terms of if the two Titan Slangs um, win against the Gimli, the, uh, the, the, it should be some good motivation of keep going and making better ships. If the Gimli manages to win over two Titan Slangs, the Mark I and the Mark II, it should be some good motivations uh, that the Gimli counters the Titan Slang so hard that... Uh, a new ship really needs to be made in a different way. Now this will probably lag a lot, so we're just gonna we're just going to uh, start the battle here. Look at that! We're firing. Oh look! Ooh, that's some damage. That's very surface damage. Okay. Oh, looks like some stuff got damaged there. All right, so uh, the Titan Slang has some scary lasers. Now I gave them both a lot of materials. Uh, the Gimli battles only usually get 500 materials per each, but it's like some symmetric setting. I wanted both of the Titan Slangs to be fully packed with materials, so I just upped that material limit. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, see there, see there. We can't really take on these cramps. You can see it punched a hole straight through here. That's actually very dangerous. Okay, I'm feeling less... Uh, like, the battle with the Gimle against one of the Titan Slangs, um, the Gimle just dominated the battlefield so hard that I kind of uh, thought that it would be... Uh, I thought it would be able to take on two, but now I'm, now I'm getting a lot less certain because... Uh, <laughs> Because of these crams, they go through my defenses, and they just need one lucky hit to uh, take him out. Ooh, but the Gimli is actually in the lead, material-wise. Okay, we're definitely in the graded territory. Don't tell me the Titan Slangs collide. No, they don't. Good. Bam! We got some explosions in there. It lags so much that I wonder if even frag works right now. This is a little bit um, beyond my computer's capacity, that's for sure. If I remember correctly, the Titan Slang Mark 1 can be sunken. I do hope that my sniper cannons targets the Mark 1. Because then it, we could take its engine power, because my sniper cannons are excellent at taking out stuff from beneath. 
Look at that. That's some serious damage. Now, there is also a big advantage of having uh, two smaller ships instead of one big. So that should also be said. Um, it is 1.8 plus 1.8 is uh, math gymodism. 3.6, is it? So, uh, yes, it should be 3.6, right? Uh, so 3.6 million versus 2.2 uh, million, this battle is. So Borderwise should have an advantage of 1 million and... Uh, I'm sorry. 400, is it? I can't think and record and do multiple things at the same time, so... I'm sorry, but it should be something like that. The game list down to 95 percentages. Ooh, it's getting pretty damaged here. It's really is. Those, ooh, no. Look at those lasers. They're really burning on this turret. That's a little bit scary. I think I have smoke somewhere in the close vicinity, maybe. But who knows? <laughs> Seems that my cramps are targeting different ships, which is probably good. I didn't remember exactly how I set up. My AIs, of course, I didn't expect to pitch the Gimla against several other ships. Ooh, that was a scary cram, right? I wanna check the... Uh, the AI here. The AI isn't even completely submerged. Look at that, though. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Here we had some... Here we had a close call. Of course, there are multiple AI computers in here. But you can see the outer rubber shell has been scratched. Which isn't very good. Okay. Right. That is really something here. Uh, lags a lot. Oh! Looks like... Oh, this is my damage... <laughs> damage defraud. Looks like the Mark 1 has indeed. I think Borderwise is probably very right about the Mark 2 being much superior because it's staying floaty and battling still. The Mark 1 is kind of sinking, which is really bad. Um, I think that if Borderwise took the Mark 1's cram cannons and put them on the Mark 2, I think. I may be wrong, but I think it may be a more efficient ship, because uh, um, I do believe that the Mark II has hollow point frag crams, and they are just a little bit countered by my armor, um, because it's a thin outer shell and it uh, just covers the damage. Looks like my underwater <laughs> flag diff rods sieves are doing some work too. Bam. Ooh. We're getting big holes here. A lot of empty space, but this is scary, like... No more damage towards the AI compartment. I do realize that I probably should have armored my AI compartment a little bit better, but it hasn't been a problem yet, or it has actually been a problem one time, but we didn't lose because of it, it was just only the laser. <laughs> <laughs> and fast fire guns AI that got taken out that time. So it hasn't been a problem yet, so but you know, if it becomes a problem, I probably need to make a Mark II Kim Lord or an updated, just an updated little hotfix, maybe is enough. The Gimle is down to 89 percentages. That's that's actually I don't think it ever been this low before. But it's also outmatched uh, in terms of materials a quite b good bit. Bam! Was it 3.6 million versus 2.2? That should be 1.4 materials. That's like a BBS fifth season in difference. So that is a bit. But you can see the Titan Slang Mark 2. This is the Mark 1. It's still battling valiantly and it hasn't sunk. Ooh, it's just spamming shells. Interesting. 
So uh, the Gimli is at 88 percentages and the Titan slangs, which apparently means something with the snake in, uh, what is it? Afrikaans do do Dutch, or s I think it was, if I remember correctly. So uh, I was always confused why it was called the big snake. So there, there we know. Now we know. Right. Oh, it's looking really sad on down here. 86 percentages. It's trying to keep up engine power, but it's really hard. Uh, it seems to be lazing still. I don't know what happens with the cram cannons here. Do they fire still? We are in heavy degraded mood with heavy lag, so that's a little bit sad. They're trying desperately to take out those cram shells, but I think they start to leak through now. It's just um, it's just a bit outmatched like that. Are we tilting? No, it was just the perspective. Well, the Titan slangs are pretty tough, but looks like the Mark I is indeed actually sinking. I see. Well, that's 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 something. So yeah, uh, the Titan Slang Mark One is catching uh, penalty points because my rules uh, thinks this is kind of uh, submerged now, which it kind of is. It's also despawning because it's sinking now too. So that's that. And we go here. Um, the Mark Two is still alive, however. Which is pretty cool. It's faring a lot better this time. Since, uh, yeah, it's actually at equal footing now at uh, with the Gimle. It's at 84% just two. All right. It's trying with its interceptors and stuff. Taking out those cramps, I believe. Uh, we're still... Oh, finally it caught 30 damage points, so it's DQ'd, which is good for me, because then I can focus all my weapon systems on the Mark II here. So, go, go, Gimle, you defeated one of the snakes. But it's uh, a very equal in terms of materials right now, so it can go either way. It would be fantastic if the Gimle is able to win this battle uh, against two Titan Slangs, the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 to be specific. Um, but it's also absolutely okay if it doesn't, because it is 1.4 million in damage, and I'm not uh, assuming that I'd be able to win that. But. Uh, the Gimli is also especially built to counter the Ragnarok and the Titan Slang. So, whoa -hoo -hoo, look at that turret go. So, it can work, because again, I did indeed have the Titan Slang and the um, Ragnarok in mind when building it. You know what? In this video, I'm actually going to pitch the Titan Slang Mark II and the Ragnarok against the Gimle. So maybe if they work in tandem, they will be able to build. They will be able to defeat the Gimle. But I'm also thinking, you know what? It actually looks like the Gimle is actually winning this against the Mark One and the Mark Two. Well, borderwise, I hope this is good motivation for you to build another type of design because the Titan Slangs is probably not able to uh, defeat the Gimle even though it has a material advantage. However, the Mark 1 is kind of easily sinkable. So I'm actually thinking we're gonna put the uh, Titan Slang Mark 2s. Gonna have two of them. So that's like uh, Titan Slang in cubits or in cube. I don't know. Um, in square. Something like that. Uh, I think we probably can put that against the Gimle and see if we get the same result uh, because we did sink the the Mark 1 using our sniper cannons, which was their intended use, by the way. 
it's intended to snipe people's dungeons that they put under the waterline. And uh, I'm glad it works. I built a turret a while ago, so I already know it probably should have that effect. But I did forgot that the Mark I of the Titan Slang was kind of weak against getting engines sniped. Right, so, wow, okay, Gimla wins this battle, we're gonna move on to the next one, which is gonna be two Titan Slangs Mark IIs, Titan Slang in cube, uh, against the Gimla. Okay, here we got it. Titan Slangs Mark IIs, Titan Slangs in cube, versus the Gimla. And the horizon looks super weird, so it looks like the Gimla is an airship right now, which is it, is, it, it, it isn't. The two cram shells. Oh no, I think we need to restart this battle. The Titan Slangs are having a retarded day, I do believe. They need to think a little bit harder on maneuvering right now. Yeah, let's restart this. I already feel the lag. The game will crash probably. Yeah, okay, no, never mind. Okay, the sideways distance of 300 meters was apparently too little. Let's try 500. I wonder if it's like 50-50, if it's gonna turn to the left or the right with the broadside AI. Oh yeah, I know, it's it's gonna turn to... Um, <laughs> it's gonna turn to the center because there, it's, it's the location of the Gimle and their anti-collision features aren't like good enough because from the depth AI is weird like that. They're pretty quick, the snakes here. Uh, I think we need to... I think we need to restart this thing too. Yeah, okay, never mind. That's... Uh... Oh, look, it actually... It actually stopped. Look at that, it has a rubber tip. That's so smart. Borderwise, your rubber tip saved the day. It was no damage dealt. That's amazing. It stopped. The Titan Slang was really intelligent this time around. It actually stopped to avoid the collision. That's great. Okay, cool. I guess it will be getting back in action and selecting its course. Wow. The times that from the depth anti-collision AI... Ooh, look at that turret go. Amazing. Anyways, the times where the anti-collision thing in From the Depth for the AI works is pretty rare occasions, so I think it's pretty amazing that it can happen. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's impressive. I, I get impressed every time two entities in From the Depth don't collide. <laughs> That's how bad it is. <clears throat> Well, but we, sh we probably shouldn't connect some, you know, chat GPT uh, general AI to From the Depths because I, I do believe that From the Depths would evolve and find a way to make real machines of war and somehow conquer the world. So, yeah, I, I think we should be happy with our not so smart AIs. <clears throat> The game lays down to 96 percentages, but oh my god, the Titan Slangs Mark IIs are down to 89. That is kind of interesting, so it seems that it's going well still for <clears throat> the Gimla. It's going well still. Very interesting indeed. Amazing. I must say that uh, I'm glad that I built so many ships and got the more experience from uh, building the battle ships. It was so useful. I think it was so cool. Uh, when I built the Draconia, uh, I tried my best and I tried really hard to make it as good as possible uh, and we got it to an equal footing with a Titan Slang Mark 1 and Mark 2 and that's really cool. Uh, the Draconia's Mark 1 version is lost in the ether so the Mark 2 
version is the only one that exists on the workshop, but I try really hard to make that killer baby seal actually do some action, and I did. But it it could it could beat the Titan Slang most of the time, but not reliably. They were like very equal ships. So I'm very happy that I managed to put together a ship that does seem to beat the Titan Slang almost all of the time. But now I may have jinxed myself because it seems that one of the Titan Slangs has moved over to, <laughs> to the side of my ship that has no armor. Everything is easily accessible to take out from here. You can see it's just melting. <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> okay, um, I think we're very jinxed. Um, I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have spoken out this early in the battle. It looks like the, uh, it looks like, it looks like, the Titan Slang is trying to cut open Gimla like some type of, uh, uh, what is it, like tin can. Oh, uh, you can see it cutting off laser equipment here. I don't have smoke in this direction, by the way. I only have smoke on the right side. Okay, the Gimli is really sandwiched here. That's really bad. Looks like it's maneuvering. Gimli, she is maneuvering. The AI has evolved intelligence. It starts to use its broadside to get another to get uh, the, the uh, titan slangs to the both side of the ship. I'm just kidding, that's just pure luck, but we can pretend it's trying to be intelligent. Oh, that was a scary cram there. <laughs> Poor cut off laser. Anyways. Gonna see if this one hits. The Titan Slangs is at 80%. Oh, will it be? Oh, no, it wasn't taken out. Now, we don't render frags anymore. Um, that's uh, that's the lag we're having right now. Hmm. I like those mortars popping down there. I don't think they did much, but oh, maybe they actually did because the, <clears throat> the, the border, border wise build so. Like, his turrets below the deck, they're just so thick. Bam. Gimli is at 93% and the Titan Slang's collective health is at 79. So we are in the lead, but there are also two ships. I think if the Titan Slang's <clears throat> can get to the other side of the Gimli and deal damage from the weak side, I think the Gimli will be uh, having a very sad day. A very sad day. But right now, we're all good. No, I didn't want to lock on to that. I want to lock on into the golden hall here. Because I thought it would be kind of funny to watch the battle from a window. Except maybe not. No. Here we go. <clears throat> well, we're grilling through some holes here. Which Titan Slang is... Man! Many of the turrets are very damaged here. Look at this turret is gone. This turret is... Tur turret's turret head is gone. This laser is alive. We have some sand blasters, I think. This turret is very empty. This cram seems to be a okay. All right. Look at that. Oh, we had a cram coming there. It hit that part. Well, I don't think this sniper is. Having the best of days. It has a barrel still. It kinda ish has a barrel. That's pretty impressive. I didn't. I don't know if it fires anymore. Well, we're shedding turrets.
interesting. It feels like these turrets are targeting the wrong target, man. <laughs> it's just because I don't want them to waste space. If we ever have an opportunity where it will meet some kind of drone, I don't want uh, big main guns to start shooting at a close little tiny thing, because that's just a distraction that we can't hit. I better shoot on the biggest thing. This Titan Slang isn't looking very happy either. Look at those turrets. Ooh, I do believe that Borderwise could have had some more uh, decoys. Oh, I know what HAB stands for now, by the way. It's heavy, heavily armored battleship, or heavy armored battleship, or, or highly armed battleship. I think it was heavily armored battleship. In any case, uh, I do believe that the Titan Slang, she could have had a few more heat decoys in the superstructure, because I do believe that the turrets, turret caps are hollowed out like this because I'm aiming at hot blocks and the hot blocks equals uh, shields if there are no heat decoys. And that can be said for the uh, Gimla too, it should also have some more heat decoys. It only has a few very exposed ones. What is it? This is one of them, right? There, It's alive somehow. Well, that's something. Oh no. Oh no. It has happened again. Well, um, I'm hoping for it to not target the AI compartment. We're getting a bit grilled here on the side. The uh, the Titan slangs are looking pretty sad, however, in general. They're at like 60s. They're in the 60s. <clears throat> so, it does actually look like the Gimli is able to beat two Titan slangs, Mox 2 2. Wow, that's a turret going away. So, I'm very happy about that. Um, I hope Borderwise isn't too sad about it, but instead see it as a encouraging motivation to build a battleship uh, that can counter the Gimli instead, because I think that would be really cool to see. I have some ideas on how to counter the Gimli, and I know some of, some of you in the uh, Discord community, I know you are actively trying and building and testing different methods of taking out the Gimla in the best way possible. Now, of course, I won't share any of them. They will be popping up when they will be popping up in the battles when the battles are being conducted. But there are ways to counter Gimla. Uh, but you, I think you have to be a little bit creative. I think you have to be a little bit creative. And I know some of you have been a little bit creative. <coughs> Lieutenant Pard by Greed. That also reminds me. Huge thanks to all of the commissioned officers in the Army of Germanism. Of course, all the cadets. And most notably, Admiral Super Dave, Captain Y, Commander Jacob, and our lieutenants, Asteria, C2, Cravey, Pard by Greed, Tyler Russ, and Vincent Veritas. I hope um, my uh, paper isn't outdated. I will check that soon. In any case, uh, if you if you missed your name on the list there, um, I will uh, I will update it promptly. It's uh, it's the paper on my uh, screen. I have like one, two, three, four, five. I have six post-its uh, on my uh, on my display with things I need to remember because um, despite doing all this digital content, I'm not a digital planner person. I'm uh, all about paperback. <clears throat> Look at that, what the hell? Is it, is it I that fired those? What's going on here? Hmm. That was really strange. Those cramps seems to be working. 
Ooh! One of the titan slangs is despawning. And the other one is about to despawn. I didn't jinx myself this time. I think we can... Okay, I can now safely say that the Gimle battleship is able to beat two titan slang marks twos. They can beat a Titan Slang Mark 1 plus a Mark 2, and I for some reason had it in my head that the Mark 1 was more dangerous. Uh, but I do believe that the Mark 2s were able to put the Gimlet down to a lower percentage than the Mark 1 plus Mark 2 did. That's very amazing. Since I also built the Gimlet to counter the Titan Slang and the Ragnarok and some other designs like the Turtle Lord, and you should look at these battles if you haven't seen them already, I'm thinking like this. The Ragnarok beats the Titan Slang any time of the day. But what if a Titan Slang Mark II works together with a Ragnarok and they together work to take out the Gimle? Will they together be able, will Brenzo and Borderwise together be able to defeat the Gimle? And the Ragnarok is of course the same cost as the Gimle, so uh, it is more fair in that regard. But yeah, let's check that out. Jimodism, do you realize you're probably being a little bit insufferable today? Here we have the Ragnarok together with the Titan Slang. Let's see if they can defeat the Gimla. So, um, excuse me if I'm being a little bit insufferable today, but uh, that's because I have won too many battles uh, right now. So, um, I, I think you understand, but of course, both the Titan Slang and the Ragnarok are really cool and good designs. They are well built, they have some weaknesses, I did try and counter them, and I may have succeeded. Now I have no idea if the Titan Slang and the Ragnarok will be able to uh, defeat the Gimli together. I, I think they probably should, but I will say this, these are good and scary designs. I tried so hard making the Draconia and the Draconia is of course defeated by the Ragnarok and the Titan Slang. So I believe uh, it's defeated by the Titan Slang like some of the time and sometimes it wins. But <clears throat> uh, every time we build a new barrel ship, we learn a lot of new things. And I do believe that if Brenzo would come back and make something more, probably can make a ship that indeed counters the Gimle. And it uh, will be very interesting to see what Borderwise comes up with in her terms of huge battleships that can hopefully defeat the Gimle. Uh, I also spent too much time on the Gimle. I did test it very much and I tuned it very finely, finely. But the Gimle is actually... The Gimle is... I don't know what version the Gimle is. Um, but it's, it's, not, it's not as insane as the Ragnarok. The Ragnarok is tuned to another level. I think it's like version 390 or something like that. It's completely insane. But it's also very well built, and uh, the interiors of the Ragnarok are absolutely hilarious. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm really hoping that I will be able to defeat both of these ships. That would be so cool. Then I know that the Gimle can defeat ships. Uh, oh my god. <clears throat> if it succeeds with that, it would be completely crazy, because then it means that the Gimle can kind of defeat ships that have twice the cost of itself if it's um, relying on dance and APS. Now the Gimla has a much higher block count. Um, I draw the line on block count for my official Gimla rules pretty, pretty high uh, but that's like different people do different uh, limits. Um, for me block count doesn't cause so much lag so it didn't make sense to have a harsh block count limit for me. Um, but yeah, having more bulk is of course a good thing too. Having dense things can make you a little bit uh, weak against uh, crams or plasma maybe. Alright. Hmm. Titan Slangs and Ragnarok is down to 93, Gimli is at 95. 
<clears throat> well, I do kind of still suspect that uh, there is a very large chance that I will not be able to win this battle. Uh oh. Just surface scratches, right? The AI isn't compromised, is it? Doesn't seem to be. Alright. Really keeping some distance here, man. Oh, god, it's lagging so hard. Uh, anyways. Look at that. It's looking pretty healthy, this thing. I do believe that... I wonder if the Ragnarok... No, the, the, the Titan Slang has actually taken most of the damage. That's not good. Because I do... Uh, b because the Ragnarok does win over the Titan Slang any time of the day. I do... Yeah, that's a little bit scary. That we have focused on the Titan Slang because it's obviously a less scarier target. Gimlet's down to 91 percentages. Its lambs are cleaning up my uh, auxiliary cram shots. Wonder if these are the scary cram shots. Or it's that's only the... Uh, these are probably real ones, yeah? They're not, they're doom shells. Doom shells, but they completely missed. I think our detection is kind of damaged, to be honest. Not good. Our packs have punched some holes here. <clears throat> this thing is at 95 percentages, which makes me a little bit scared. Coming in some crown shells. No, they're missed. They're missing. Well, darn it. More cram shells are popping in here. Ooh. We got one hit. That's something. Something is better than nothing. Oh no. Let's see her. Alright. How are we doing down here, I wonder? Ooh, this hole doesn't look good at all. Oh no, are you kidding me? Holy moly. Okay, we gotta pause this, this game here. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh, our AI. Oh my lord, this is so close. <clears throat> oh my! Hmm, that's the main AI, by the way. <clears throat> All right, that ain't too good. Oh, all right. It look, it's look, it's it looks like the Gimli will is about is about to have a very bad day. Oh, and the cramps are going through there too. Yeah, we can see our engine compartment down there. Now I don't know what we locked on to. But man, look at this. Look at this hole here. It's like the AI is not protected right now. The entire engine compartment that was in front of it has been taken out. I will need to remind myself that the Gimli is outmatched by almost 2x. So, it's unreasonable for me to expect to win, but the battles has been going so good so far that I was hoping uh, that uh, battle luck would continue. Is this a real cram? No, that was just a decoy. Well, that's, that's what we're doing. So, the uh, Ragnarok is getting protected by the Titan Slang, who is this meat shield in the front. I do believe most of the Titan Slang's damage dealing systems is a little bit compromised.
Oh yes. But it would be good if we could delete the Titan Slang here so that we can focus all of the damage to one target instead. The Ragnarok is at 92% still. That's worrying. Is this a real cram? I hope it is, and I hope it hits. Wonder what game speed we're at. <clears throat> Ish half speed. Yeah, having two big battleships against the Gimli is a little bit too much. Especially with all of these water pumps, and we did not hit at all. But... What happened with the Ragnarok? Did we accidentally AI snipe this thing? What's it doing? It's not keeping straight anymore. It doesn't have too many, too few materials. Oh my god! I did not expect the Titan Slang to be the more resilient fighter in this fight. Because as said, the Ragnarok wins over the Titan Slang any day of the week. The Ragnarok is a very strong, very strong fighter. Oh, my quarters. Sorry to disturb their mealtime, but we're having a better party in the Golden Hall. Not, not fast food. <laughs> Why? It must be AI dead somehow. Okay, that's a plot twist. That's pretty cool. Now, however, the Titan Slang has snaked its way, snaked, snaked its way to the wrong side of the Gimle, where it can absolutely take out some important things. The crams have realigned. That's good. The Super Davidos fire away. Bam. No. Okay, we're targeting different enemies there. I wanna follow these guys here. Thank you. Oh my god, that's... I was... We missed so hard. I was thinking we're about to lose 100% and then the Ragnarok does stop shooting some important thing either like it can't be it must be the AI maybe our snipers accidentally snipered some important thing well the titan slang is the only thing fighting back right now We're having serious targeting issues, though. Does the Ragnarok still not fight? It's kind of sinking. And it's not fighting back. Very interesting indeed. Wow. If it has a weakness like that, I wonder if the Titan Slang Mark II, if it just switched its arm, its ammo to Sabos, just have Sabos. If the Titan Slangs, if the Titan Slang Mark II would have a Mark III version that's like has the Mark I crams and has only Sabo shells, I think it could probably win over the Ragnarok if it's if it's lucky, because this thing is just dead fish by now. And the Ragnarok is indeed despawning. Yeah. I don't know what did it. It must have been AI dead. And here we have the Titan Slang at 7 
47 percentages, but most of its most of its damage systems are indeed offline here. So it looks like, wow, okay. Uh, I'm obviously very happy about the outcome of this battle. The Gimli is able to defeat the Titan Slang Mark One plus the Mark Two, the Titan Slang Mark Two in cube. Uh, or no, Titan Slang Cube Mark Two, two, two Mark Twos. And uh, the Titan Slang Mark II plus the Ragnarok 2022 version from Brenzo. So, I'm very, very happy about that, of course. That's super cool. Maybe it was just luck. Uh, this battle has been a little bit too laggy for me to want to redo it. But uh, any of you with a better computer than me can, of course, do it. But it's amazing. Um, and I will, again, stress on that I hope this is a type of motivation not just like um, something else because I would love to see ships that can just defeat the Gimle so easily because that would make me be able to learn so much more on how to make an even better battleship but until the Gimle gets its ass handed to itself I guess I will not learn uh, a lot <laughs> because it's it's by, it's by losing you learn. So, I guess that's that. Uh, like, we can of course watch the end battle of this, but since the Titan Slang basically only has one laser left and the laser is more busy with taking out crams, I'm pretty sure we all know how this will end. But I will say thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah, I hope I hope borderwise if you're watching this that you that you don't feel sad but instead feel very motivated. So with that said, I'll see you next time. This is your host Jimodism with a the most glorious victory so far because we were we were of course very how much outmatched was we now I wonder. Let me let me. Uh, let me take my Texas instruments here. So 1.8 plus 2.2. .2. I should be able to do this in my head. So 4 million. And the Gimli is 2.2. .2. So we are outmatched by 1.8. More than 1.8 million. So close to 2 million. We're basically outmatched by... We are of course outmatched by an extra Titan Slang basically. So that's pretty cool. Now... I think that would lag a little bit too much. Maybe I should try the Gimla against two Ragnaroks. If you want to see that, post that in the comments and I will probably record it for you sometime. Uh, I don't know how that will go, but uh, I hope that the Gimla would win that too. I don't know if it will. Maybe it just loses. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. This is your host, Jim Reesm, and we are officially signing out with our battle cry. AOG Invictus.